But so last time we, we met, we talked about an algorithm that will allow us to convert uh, tables, right? Um, a schema, a relational schema into a more higher level representation of, of classes. Um, and this is a theme, a recurring theme throughout the, the, the semester of, of finding that we need to be able to represent uh, the same schema, but in multiple different ways, right? Uh, today, the most common way that we're, we're going to be looking at for the first you know, several weeks is the relational, relational way of uh, representing data, right? It's a flat representation. It's not hierarchical. It's a whole bunch of tables that point to each other, right, from foreign keys and primary keys. Uh, and so we're going to do that for the first month or so. Uh, but then we're going to have to uh, consider other ways of representing the same data, right? We'll, we'll look at the object model uh, using uh, Java classes. We'll look at XML for representing the same information. Right, we'll look at uh, JSON for representing the same data, right? And and uh, and one theme throughout is uh, is going to be so regardless of how is it you choose to uh, represent this, you're always going to be confronted with many of the same uh, challenges, right? Of of avoiding redundancy, uh, avo avoiding um, uh, inconsistency with the data representation, right? And so how is it that you can represent it uh, regardless of what the actual representation is in such a way that you avoid these pitfalls? Uh, so the um, the, we, we, we took a look at a very simple example um, of tracks and uh, CD tracks and lyrics, uh, and we, we represented them, and we saw how we could go from a relational schema into a higher level class diagram. Uh, we, we tried to generalize that, uh, that uh, algorithm in, in this, these three steps of uh, creating one table per class and deciding, you know, depending on how many there were on each side of the representation, whether it was a one or star or zero to zero dot dot one, uh, and then adding the attributes of the from the fields in the in the table as uh, attributes in the in the class. Uh, we we uh, we looked at this uh, example of this class diagram. I mean, this uh, this relational schema, and after applying the um, the algorithm, presumably we ended up with something like this. Um, uh, and uh, oftentimes it's very, very convenient to represent it in this very high level, uh, uh, since it's uh, easier to think and reason uh, from a class diagram, a graphical representation, than uh, a you know, representation either in code, in Java, or JSON, or XML, or, or relational schemas. It's very hard to reason through uh, the, the representation in such a low level. It's, it's very often uh, useful to bring it up to this, this representation make your changes here, right? And then transform back to your low level representation. There's many tools that allow you to do this. Uh, some of them are free, most of them are uh, for pay that uh, can do reverse engineering, right? You can point it to a schema, you can point it to a Java a class or any, any source code. Uh, it'll reverse engineer and give you a graphical representation like this, right? Uh, and, um, and then allow you to drag and drop and add new, new, uh, new relationships, new classes, uh, change attributes, and then it'll do, um, it, it'll, it'll do round robin, right? It'll go back and modify your code, you know, as you graphically modify, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it could, could do a vice versa. From, from here, you can generate C Sharp any, or, any, uh, or Java or any, any XML or JSON, whatever you want to generate, you know, very, very powerful tools. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's often easier to transform, reason about it in the class diagram and then transform it back. Um, all right, so we want to go the other way around too. From classes, we want to go uh, to tables. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, what that might look like. Hi everyone, Jose here. Uh, please remember to subscribe and like the video. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Thank you.